Page 8, Senate Bill 1123, a bill to amend and reenact a section of the Code of Virginia relating to the designation of the Virginia Shakespeare Festival as the official Shakespeare Festival. Board from the Committee on General Laws. Hey, the gentleman from James City County, Mr. Watson. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members of the, uh, Mr. Speaker. House. The gentleman from Shando, Mr. Parliamentary Bill. inquiry. The gentleman may state it. The question here will be to pass or not to pass. Is that, is that right? <laughs> He, he was up all night thinking that one. <laughs> Gentleman from Richmond City, Ms. McClellan. Uh, speaking to the bill. Oh, okay. Uh, let's wait till he gets through yeah. it. <laughs> Gentleman James City County. Everybody's been studying their Shakespeare, Mr. Uh, Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, SB 1123 designates the Virginia Shakespeare Festival, which is now celebrating its 35th anniversary as a state mm -hmm. Shakespeare Festival of Virginia. I uh, ask that the bill pass. The gentlewoman from Richmond City, Ms. McClellan. Thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Speaking to the bill. The gentlewoman has the floor. The gentleman from Shenandoah actually stole my joke. But um, <laughs> while I'm sure the Shakespeare Festival in uh, William and Mary is a fine production, I just wanted to remind the body that there are several Shakespeare festivals uh, all across the Commonwealth, including uh, one here in the city of Richmond in uh, an old Tudor home that was moved over from England. They are actually accepting auditions right now if any of you want a second career. We also have uh, one in Stanton in a reproduction of one of William Shakespeare's theaters. Uh, I believe there is also another one in Hampton Roads and those are just the three I was able to pull out really quickly. And if we are going to designate one festival as the state festival, I would hope that we would first give some consideration to all of the many festivals we have here uh, and not pick one over the others. And for that reason, I ask you to um, consider this very carefully before you vote for it. The gentleman from Henrico, Mr. Fer uh, Farrell. Mr. Speaker, speaking of the bill. The gentleman has the floor. I just wanted to echo the gentlelady's comments from Richmond. There are great Shakespeare festivals all over the state that take place at UVA, Richmond, and in Stanton, where my mother is from. And I think it'd be a great shame to designate one over the other, and I hope it'd be the pleasure of the House to defeat the bill. The uh, gentleman from James City County, Mr. Watson. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, uh, if, if, speak to the bill. You better. I, I better. <laughs> A few things that make this particular uh, festival unique. Uh, th this is the oldest Shakespeare festival in Virginia. It was produced in Williamsburg, where the performance, where the, excuse me, where the first performance of Shakespeare uh, was performed in the New World. Uh, it provides an edu educational program uh, for students from across the Commonwealth through summer camp. Also provides an internship of college credits for folks around the world. Um, it was housed, it is housed, excuse me, the second oldest university in America, the College of William & Mary. And finally, passage of this bill will help boost uh, economic activity in the region. Frankly, it is a jobs bill. I would ask that the bill pass. John Suffolk, Mr. Jones. Mr. Speaker, I would uh, ask that the bill go by for the day. Uh, Senate Bill 1123, bye for the day.